crypto tends to be rather calm right now. Bitcoin is going down, but there is two meme coins that are outperforming pretty much everything else. One is Mock Coin. I've already done a video on Mock Coin yesterday. The other one is Popcat. Popcat more than doubled in the last week. Let's have a look at how much longer this rally can last. Let's have a look at on-chain metrics most people are not considering. Because here's the reason why most people don't win in crypto. They simply just draw random lines on charts or they simply just follow random Twitter accounts. But the question is always what kind of information can we get that most people do not have. And on-chain we do have a lot of information. And that on-chain data also led me to make a video on popcat five months ago when the price was still at three cents now we are at 54 cents so nobody was interested in that video at the time this is the gray area a typical video and in blue we see the popcat performance another video followed more people tended to watch that and the third video published two months ago finally is outperforming a typical video and that is the fundamental problem with crypto youtube youtube recommends the videos of tokens that have already grown a bit if you're talking about a cryptocurrency nobody is yet talking about youtube doesn't give you that much exposure so if you want to be early next time maybe consider following channels like this i do publish videos regularly and again i try to be early now why even consider popcat it's because popcat is already very relevant on the solana chain check this out this is dexscreener.com this is the solana chain and we are ordering now all of the different assets based on their liquidity pool size so how much capital is actually locked up in a token and popcat is already at number six it's the sixth largest cryptocurrency on solana but even though it's so large there is still almost a 10x to the leader which is slurf right now we've got a bit over 50,000 holders on chain for popcat and when we look at the holder development in the last two months and we do see quite a bit of an increase just recently but here's the thing for a meme coin to grow in price we need to have more investors jumping on that coin it's very rare that somebody is buying into a meme coin several times right most people simply just buy once and hope for the price to increase that means fundamentally we need to see more and more new investors jumping in so that's why i like to compare the number of recurring traders on a given day versus the number of new traders on a given day for any hyped meme coin and this is what we see over here in purple we see the number of first time traders in orange the number of recurring traders and this is for the last month and unfortunately especially in the recent days the number of recurring traders massively outpaced the number of first-time traders sometimes we see this the other way around right when there's a lot of new first-time traders jumping in this is very good because then the investor base grows but when it's the other way around that's not necessarily that great now there's something very noteworthy about today's rally where the price went up by 18 percent roughly and that can be seen over here so small retail is the wallets that have less than a thousand dollars worth of popcat so today 76 percent of trading volume is by those small retail wallets medium-sized retail is the wallets between a thousand and ten thousand dollars large retail is between ten thousand and a hundred thousand whales is above a hundred thousand so we see a lot of trading volume by small retail which isn't that great because check this out on the 3rd of june when retail trading volume was also high that was over here when the price went from 50 cents all the way down to below 30 cents instead of normalizing every day to a hundred percent we can also have a look at this simply in us dollars and we can really see how trading volume comes in waves and when there is a lot of trading volume like here on the 26th of april then the price also tends to be rather elevated when there's very little trading volume like here on the 16th 17th and the price also tends to be rather low so there is a direct correlation between trading volume attention and price whenever trading volume is high prices tend to be elevated and vice versa and currently trading volume is pretty high not all of trading happens on chain though there's also quite a bit of activity on gate io and there are even perpetual futures so levered bets on the price 
most of that happens on Bybit. And that of course can be indicative of potential manipulation. The market as a whole doesn't look that pretty. I am not really a fan of speculating on altcoins right now. And that's because the stablecoin market cap isn't expanding anymore. There isn't any more fiat that gets deployed into crypto net. So there's no more inflows versus outflows. That means it's 100% player versus player. It's not just a lot of new people coming into crypto, elevating all crypto prices. Now the general crypto market isn't expanding. You really have to find the right assets. And unfortunately, most assets are not doing too well, right? Just look at this. This is the performance in the last month. Yes, Popcat did fine, Mock did fine, but pretty much all other altcoins did very, very poorly. And so instead of trying to find the needle in the haystack, trying to find the one winner in all of those losers, I personally prefer to simply just bet on the losers continuing to lose. If you want to have the odds on our side, why not just bet on all of those random coins doing poorly, especially in an environment that doesn't expand. I just recorded a premium tutorial on just that topic. It's 42 minutes of very dense knowledge what altcoins are attractive for shorting, which ones are not, what kind of platforms should we use, and what kind of strategy in general tends to work in markets like this. You do not want to get burned when it's 100% player versus player. You rather want to take advantage of things like token inflation, right? As in supply is expanding, and when demand doesn't expand to the same degree, prices, relatively speaking, tend to go down. In a bull market, it's important to have a very close eye on what can outperform, in a bear market, it's actually easier to make money because again, in bear markets, the odds are in our favor if we simply just avoid the few winners. So feel free to check it out, the premium membership. The link is down below. It's thebitcoinstrade.com. If you've got roughly $5,000 worth of crypto, then it might make sense to join. There's also a one week money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, simply message me within the first week and I'll refund you 100%. If your crypto portfolio isn't yet large enough, there's also a free Telegram. So feel free to join there as well. Link is as well down below. Looking very much forward to chatting with you in Telegram. Cheers.